Okay, so uh, magnetic reconnection happens in many places throughout the known universe. Uh, for example, uh, if you have the sun here and you have these magnetic fields that look like uh, these loops sticking out of, from the sun, um, what happens is these loops, one way to think about it is that the loops come together like this, and since your magnetic field lines are pointing in opposite directions, uh, you can get reconnection here, and that shoots out plasma towards uh, the sun and away from the sun, and that's basically the, um, the physics behind a solar flare and uh, coronal mass ejection. And one of these coronal mass ejections can pop off, and here, if the Earth is out here, it comes out towards the Earth, and you blow up what the Earth looks like, and the Earth has its own magnetic field. It looks like this. And what happens here is that you can have the magnetic field from uh, the interplanetary space, and it can be pointing in opposite directions, and you can get reconnection right here. And what that does is it allows these field lines to drape over the back of the magnetosphere and load uh, the, the back end with energy, and when you can get reconnection out here, and again drive plasma flow t away and towards the Earth, and this flow can come towards the Earth and uh, give you uh, auroral, uh, auroral signatures at the poles, but it can also interact with satellites up there and cause uh, havoc, and so the topic of space weather is trying to predict when that happens so we can prepare for it.